breaking news, my wonderful people. If you know Sanusi, the disgraced emir who Ganduje banished, but Erufai came to his rescue and what have you, is revealing to Nigerians the states in which things are. He said, you are playing with this thing. No? Nigeria is in a deeper hole, a much deeper hole than you can ever imagine, than the 2015. So 2015, we, we are ju it's just a tip of the iceberg. We've not seen anything. He said, if you really know what is happening right now, you will know that Nigeria, we are in that situation, we are in that state, that <laughs> we need God. This is what Sanusi is saying. We need God. And the funniest thing is that I'm really wondering why the Northerners are playing and making joke of what is happening. The elites are not really speaking like they should. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. We are in a deeper hole than 2015. State of the nation, San Emia Sanusi reveals to Nigerians, we must be careful, very careful. We must ensure that we do not allow this. Hi, His Highness Mohammed Sanusi II yesterday expressed his opinion in the current situation Nigeria has found herself, insisting that the country is in a deeper hole and a bigger mess now than it was in 2015. The cafe of the Tanji Nayi Safi Order of Nigeria also warned that 2023 will be worse compared to what we had in 2015 if we do not stand together now. The former governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, also paled the current administration, saying that despite the current mess, the present leadership expects to be rewarded with appreciation after leaving office. It is a shame. I can't believe it. He spoke at the Akin Jode Adesoya Foundation Leadership Columbium and Award Chapter 7 deemed are good leaders scared in Nigeria. Are they scarce? Why can't we have good ones? The foundation is a non-profit organization focused on charity and space for free education and free accreditation for medical reach out for the people. Yesterday, event was seven, which also marked the, the birthday celebration of the founder. Emia Sanusi laments the level of poverty, the level of insecurity and the rate of inflation, unstable exchange rate, lack of power. Should Nigerians be worried? He said, yes, they must not joke with who they should vote for going forward. Nigerians must vote in the right people. The current administration is currently waiting to be appreciated by Nigerians, knowing exactly what is going on and happening now. Nigerians must not take this for granted. Nigerians must not take this for granted. They must seriously take this election rather very seriously. It is important that they take it seriously. He says. So this is what is happening, my wonderful people. This is what is going on. Uh, Emia Sanusi said the, the, this current administration is hoping to be rewarded. He's seriously hoping to be rewarded despite all the rubbish they have done. He said 2023 will be worse and it can assure us for free. It's going to be worse. He said because this current administration has const is constantly causing more devastation, causing Nigerians to go through a lot of, you know, hard season and yet they want nigerians to reward them yet they want nigerians to grant them you know to reward them ad adequately and you know help them you know and be celebrating them yet they are the ones causing all this problem and yet they want nigerians to reward them adequately they want nigerians to reward them adequately you know these are some of the things that they are doing and every one of them they are silenced when nigerians should speak nigerians are silent Nigerians are not really doing, you know, what they should do. You know, getting your PVC and voting in the right person is not an option. We're not trying to just discuss it and say, ah, please get your PVC. That's, Sanusi knows exactly who the current administration is. President Muhammad Buhari 
And if he's saying vote the right person, he's telling you don't vote APC again. Unless, you, I mean, if you want things to continue and to remain the way they are, it's up to you. Seriously, sincerely speaking, it's up to you. If you want things to continue and to remain the way they are, it's up to you. Nobody's going, I mean, it's your choice. They are coming up and telling us that, you know, they are already strategizing to win the election. She be now when you and I vote for the night, they go say win the election. Or they go, that means some of us are seriously preparing to vote for them because of what we will get. Have you heard of Cain and Abe? No, or Esau and Jacob. That's the best example. Now, Esau and Jacob, when some people hear their story, they will say, ah, Esau is a very stupid man. How can he sell his birthright? Does he know what it entails? Opportunity for you to become a king, to get this, to get that, to take it after your father. For goodness sake, you, it was like a narrow escape for you. Both of you are twin. It could be anybody coming out first. But guess what? You came out first. It could have been your brother. And so you need to take after from your father and what have you. And guess what? At the slightest of opportunity, because you were hungry, you sold your birthright. That's what you would tell Esau. You would call him a stupid man. But you know we do it every single day. You and I do it every single day. We don't pay attention to what is right. We don't. We make light of it. We make very light of it. It's time for election. Go get your PVC. That's the only way you can vote. We are toiling with it. We are not paying great attention to what we should pay attention to. Social media not going to win the election. No. Eh... Uh, Commenting on social media, not getting your PVC, and being in real life. You will not, we will not win the election that way. With the kind of candidates we have at heart and in mind to ensure that we win this election. It won't happen. It will only happen if you and I sincerely go for what is right and true. That's one of the only ways it will happen. And vote for that candidate. You and I can see has got what it takes to bring the nation to the desired position. So, it's time to arise. It's time to begin to strategize. Tell the people around you, don't collect. Even if they share phones, not take them. You are mortgaging your future. Your children, instead of being in school, over six months, they will be home. Do you know what that means? Some things that have happened shouldn't have happened if they were, if they were in school learning. And yet, you will sell, you will mortgage your future for a, for, for, for a few, whatever. Listen, guys, you will disgrace yourself if you try it. You will disgrace yourself. You will disgrace yourself, I can assure you for free. You will disgrace yourself if you try it. You will disgrace yourself. Please, don't sell your future. Don't mortgage it, not for anything. Don't do it. Let's not do it. Let's vote in the right candidates. Okay? Leave us a comment. Bye for now.